All right, I want to start off by saying Kohala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who taught me this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to you, Aki. I'm out there listening, supporting, and pushing this truth. And uh, I'm going to title this video, um, Not in My Lifetime. Because that's what a lot of these people, you know, they watch our videos, you know. They go on on YouTube, type in World War Three, and they just clicking on anything that says World War Three, and a lot of them, you know, see it, but but in the back of their mind, they're saying, you know, you know, not not in my lifetime, you know, not not in this lifetime, all right. But anyway, you know, everything we're saying from Apostle to Har on down, from the from the men of Great Millstone is gonna come to pass, man. Whether you believe it or not, whether you want it to happen or not, World War III is imminent, man. Okay? All right, and I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 10. Um, actually, let me let me go up a little above, Salakia. Let's start at Isaiah 30 and 8. It says, Now go, write it before them in a table. And note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and forever. All right. And that's talking about these scriptures, you know. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may that it may, that it may be for the time to come forever and forever. OK, so these, these scriptures, you know, like some people like to say, oh, no, that's Bible times. No, Bible times is forever and ever, man. <laughs> Long as you alive, long as the earth is here, it's Bible times, man. Um, Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people. Talking about Israel. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. Salaki, let me read that over. Salaki, Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And that's what you guys want. And you guys don't want the truth. We're, we're, we're feeding you the truth. Every The truth is, is, is smacking you in the face left and right. Not only from the men of the Lord, but from, you know, Esau, the other nations, because the scripture said he would cause their tongues to fall upon themselves, right? So you got the truthers, you got all type of people exposing Esau and and, 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 and what time it is. But you guys don't don't want to see it. You see, you're telling the, 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 the seers to see not. We are the seers, starting with the, with the apostles of GMS on down. From Apostle to Horan down, man. The elder Apostle to Horan down. Those are the seers. We are the seers. We are the prophets. Okay? And you're telling us not to prophesy. You don't want to hear this, man. You're just watching for entertainment. Okay? It says, this is, but this is the reason why. Because you don't want the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You don't want Yahweh Shai to return, who you guys call Jesus. You really don't, in the back of your mind, you really don't want the, you, you know it's a black man so-called black man, you know he's about to put y'all to death. That's what you really don't want. You don't want him to return. That's this is fact. Call it what it is. Okay? So I'm going to say it again. I'm going to start over. Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children. Because you're lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourselves, man. Because we, we at them times, man. The Lord is about to return. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, so don't tell us the truth. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get you, get you out of the way. Turn aside of the path. Cause the Holy One in Israel to cease from before us, because you don't want Him to come down, man. But guess what? Guess what the Lord said. This is what Yahweh Shai said. So-called Jesus, out of His own mouth, right? You don't want Him to rule. Guess what? Luke nineteen and twenty-seven. But those mine enemies, that's you guys that don't want to that want us to prophesy smooth things, that don't want this thing to come to pass. It's gonna come to pass whether you like it or not. It says, but those mine enemies, because you guys are enemies of Yahweh Shai, 
antichrist. There are many antichrists, starting with you guys. But those mine enemies, which I would not that I should reign over them, because you don't want them to rule. You don't want them. You don't want these laws. You you don't want uh you don't want them to to, to put faggots to death. You don't want certain things like that. You know. You want to eat your swine, eat your bacon. You know. You you want to stay in this hell. You want to stay in this shithole. You want to cash out on your 401k. You want to retire. You want to uh, go to the Poconos, go to the Maldives, wherever. You don't want this place to be destroyed. But Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which I would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And that's what he's going to do. We're going to, the Lord willing, we part of the elect. We're going to round y'all up, who's ever left. And we're gonna put y'all to death because you didn't want them to return. You don't want to. You don't want to wake up to the times that we're living in. You want to stay in Egypt, okay? Okay. And th this is the only reason why he's coming back. Cause like I said, it ain't for y'all. Cause y'all don't believe. Y'all y'all don't have faith. Y'all don't want him to rule, okay? This is the only reason why the Lord is even coming back in the first damn place. Matthew twenty four and twenty one. It says, "For then shall be great tribulation." such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, no, nor ever shall be. Okay, so the time Jacob's trouble, the times we're heading into, because the missiles ain't just going to get shot off. It's going to take time. You might be here two, three, four, five, six, who knows? And during them times, it's going to be martial law, like we say, famines, pestilence, all hell. Okay, it's going to be much great tribulation coming, man. It says, for then shall be great tribulation. This is also why you don't want them to return, because you know all these things are going to happen. You know the economy is going to crash. You're just hoping that it don't happen while you're still here. You're hoping you die, and maybe you're wicked at, you know, you're, you're, you're so goddamn wicked. You're hoping you die, and your children maybe suffer this shit. But guess what? You're going to suffer it, because you're wicked. You're going to feel that. You're going to suffer death by pain. Anyway, Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? So the Lord coming back for us, the hopeful elect, the man that's pushing this truth, you know, catching hell, being scoffed at putting our lives on the line, that's who he's coming for us. Not for you motherfuckers on the sideline just watching, just hoping that he don't come. You know, no. He ain't coming. He's coming to kill you. He's coming to put y'all to death. And in case you didn't, in case you can understand, I'm going to pull it, get it in Mark. This is Mark 13 and 9, because in case you got, you, you, you got, you guys are hard-headed, right? This is Mark 13 and 9, the same scripture, but in a different book. For in those days shall be affliction, what tribulation, same thing, such as was not from the time from Salakia, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which Yahweh created unto this time, in case you didn't get it the first goddamn time, neither shall be. Okay, so more worse than the flood, worse than World War One, worse than World War Two, worse than the Great Depression. Worse than whatever catastrophic event in time that you could think of, it's going to be worse than that. That's the times we're heading into. That's why Ezra said, woe is me, woe is me. I believe it's Ezra. Woe is me, woe is me. Who shall save me out in, in them times? Unless you part of the elect, you, that you, you, man. Anyway, Mark 13 and 20. And accept that the Lord has shortened those days. And you can see he's shortening them. You guys don't want to accept the fact that the days are getting shorter. Time is shortening up, man. The days are speeding up. Not for you guys, for us. You know, he's he's, he's hardening the heart of, of, of the Pharaoh, man. Of Trump, Putin. Tick-tock, tick-tock, niggas. Mark 13 and 20. And accept, the, and, and accept that the Lord has shortened those days. No flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen. See? And that's that's lowercase l. So that's your Hawashai speaking. I mean, we know it's Yahweh Shai, but anyway, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. And except that the Lord, that's Yahweh Shai, not Yahweh, lowercase l. And except that the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake whom he have chosen, he has shortened the days, okay? 
Because he said he chose us from the foundations of the earth before everything was found. You know, it's, everything is predestined. Well, I ain't going to get into that. that was, that's a whole nother lesson. But anyway, I'm going to close it out on Daniel. I wanted to read Daniel. I'm going to start at, uh, this is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, which is Israel, and there shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, in case you knuckleheads can't get it. This is the Old Testament. Show you that the script is just one book, man. Ain't no Old Testament, ain't no New Testament. It's one whole, with one book, man. Ain't no apocrypha. Esau divided that shit up, man. Trying to deceive us. It's one book and it flows. It's one book. One message. Anyway, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, that the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that should be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, this is the point here. This is the point. This is the main point. Daniel 12 and 2. <clears throat> this was in the Old Testament. Pro prophecy. This hasn't come to pass yet. And many are talking about it's my, it's Bible times is over. How is it Bible times over when this hasn't come to pass yet? You don't know the fucking Bible. Be quiet. And and many of them that sleep, talking about it ain't not in your lifetime. You don't know the, you don't know the Lord. You don't know nothing. You don't know his name. You don't know you don't know a goddamn thing. Anyway, Daniel 12 and 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, Lord willing, we are part of that, the elect, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And that's the point. Y'all going to be ashamed when the, when the Most High return. When Yahweh shall return and Yahweh reveals his, himself and the angels and all that. Oh, man, you guys are going to be shame, shame faced. Ain't gonna have nothing to say. Gonna be butthurt. <sighs> Talking about like like he said, because you don't you you telling the seers not to see, man. You know, prophesy unto us smooth things. Tell us deceit. We not gonna deceive you, man. <laughs> Trust me. It, it, it's them. It's that time, man. It's the, it's that time. <laughs> it's that time. We at the end, man. We getting closer and closer. You don't want to accept it, but guess what? It is. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.